thank you for tuning in to this edition of the Eric Abbasar Show. And, you know, heading into this week, Jerry Jones brought some really bad juju to the Dallas Cowboys by talking about how he was going to rest starters heading into the playoffs. The Dallas Cowboys have not only not clinched the NFC, they haven't even clinched the NFC East. And the NFC East remains up for grabs after the Giants grinded their way to a 10-7 win, a slugfest victory over Dallas at home in New Jersey. And really, uh, it was uh, an anomaly for Dak Prescott. He has played with so much poise and composure throughout the season. Uh, Those qualities that have become his calling card were markedly absent. I mean, he got sacked three times, was pressured for much of the game, and threw two interceptions. So, really surprising from Prescott's end, but incredibly impressive from the Giants when you consider that Ezekiel Elliott still had a big game rushing. He ran for over 100 yards, and the Giants shut down the passing game without Jason Pierre-Paul. So, you know, this is a team that can withstand injuries and still get the job done. So, you know, Prescott had been on quite an impressive streak. For five straight games, he had thrown a touchdown pass and did not throw an interception. That is a rookie record. Of course, that was snapped in a big way. Now the Giants have swept the season series, handing Dallas their only two losses of the season. But with New York at 9-4, and four, still very much in contention to have a shot at the NFC East, pretty firmly entrenched in that first wild card place. Now, Eli Manning did not get it done in the passing game. Right? He threw for less than 200 yards, threw an interception, could have thrown more than one, honestly. He had some horrible throws out there that should have been picked off by Dallas. But And on top of that, he had two fumbles. Who saved the day? You guessed it, Odell Beckham Jr., the most exciting playmaker in the NFL. Caught what looked like was just going to be maybe a first down grab. He just gashed the Dallas defense, found his angle, turned it upfield, ran it for a 61-yard touchdown reception. And really all the credit goes to Beckham there. He ran so much of that uh, yardage after the catch. It's what he's done so often this season. And it's why he is so explosive and dangerous. All it takes is one touch for Odell Beckham to completely change the complexion and the outcome of the game. But let's not forget about the unsung heroes on the New York Giants defense. You know, from going from an undrafted free agent, you know, uh, Romeo Okwara had a massive game. He, you know, really just pressured the heck out of uh, Prescott, an undrafted free agent out of Notre Dame. It seems like every year you have those revelations and he gets it done. Jonathan Casillas, continuing to have a great year for the Giants. Love what he's done, as well as Devon Kennard. But, you know, what really impresses me about this Giants team is the almost embarrassment of riches uh, in the secondary. Landon Collins consistently getting it done at strong safety. Janoris Jenkins, you know, rookie Eli Apple. And, of course, we can't forget about uh, Dominique rogers Cromartie. The Giants invested big time in their defense in the offseason, and now it is paying huge dividends, arguably one of the most impressive defensive performances of the entire NFL season. And, you know, moving forward, the Giants are going to have to figure out a way to run the ball at least a little bit. They didn't even average three yards a carry. You, know, you can't ha- rely too heavily on Eli Manning, otherwise he's going to make really bad throws, regardless of the pressure. He needs a running game to keep the pressure uh, off his shoulders. But, you know, the Cowboys, look, they've been the most consistently impressive team in the NFL this season, but this raises questions. People are going to, you know, be asking, will Tony Romo come into the fold if Prescott continues to struggle, which is absolutely absurd, but Jerry Jones is an entertainer of the absurd. The Giants, meanwhile, know how to win late in the season. This could be the catapulting of something great. My gut tells me that these two teams are headed in opposite directions, and the road does not get any easier for Dallas. They take on the Buccaneers next week. That is a tough game to play, even if it's at home. And then they take on the Lions before finishing up the season on the road against the Eagles on New Year's Day. Meanwhile, the Giants will look to uh, clinch a 10-win season with a victory over the Lions uh, this coming weekend. So we look forward to seeing how it plays out. Thank you so much for tuning in, and be sure to subscribe to my channel.